Yeah! Welcome back to Lingo Kids Crafts. I am so excited today because we are going to learn how to draw my favorite dessert of all time and probably yours too. Let me give you a few hints. This dessert usually comes in round, circular shapes with a variety of flavors. It can be served in a cone or a bowl and it has delicious toppings of all kinds. Yes, you guessed it. Today, we will be drawing a delicious ice cream cone. What's your favorite flavor? Is it vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, or something fancy like rainbow or mint chocolate chip? Today, you can draw whatever type of ice cream your heart desires. Grab your pencil and a sheet of paper and let's get started. Yay! We are going to start at the bottom and draw our ice cream cone. First, we draw a beautiful big triangle, but Instead of the top of the triangle pointing up, we make it point down, like a downward triangle. Great job! For the actual ice cream scoops to hold still, we will need to add a nice strong base. So, draw a thin rounded rectangle right above the triangular shape. The base should be wider than the triangle itself and have rounded edges. Amazing work! Now, we get to the sweet stuff, the ice cream. Let's call this first one ice cream scoop number one. Go ahead and draw a circle right on top of the rectangular base of the cone. You can start drawing the circle from the left edge of the rectangle all the way to the middle part. You will notice that you cannot really draw a full circle since you cannot see the bottom part of your ice cream when it is on top of your cone. Our drawing will have three ice cream scoops. Since we have already drawn one, we have two more to go. At the top right side of ice cream scoop number one, we will draw a big half circle that stops right at the side of the base. Just like that. That's excellent. Now, you have ice cream scoop number two. We want to draw our last scoop of ice cream by drawing a smaller semi-circle on the top of the scoops you already have. Start from the top middle part of ice cream scoop number one, and then, Draw a semicircle that ends on the top middle part of ice cream scoop number two. And there we go! We have ice cream scoop number three! To make it more realistic, go to the bottom of ice cream scoop number one and, right on top of the base, add little thin curvy lines going downwards. They should look like the drips of ice cream melting. Now, go to the bottom of ice cream scoop number two, right there, and do the same, just like that. I'm so impressed! Great job! These little droplets give us the impression that the ice cream is starting to melt a little down the cone. Once you are done, let's add a cute little straw. Between the top of ice cream scoop number one and the bottom left side of ice cream scoop number three, draw a thick rectangle that tilts to the left. Again, we cannot close the rectangle entirely since the straw is placed inside the ice cream. <laughs> Everything is starting to take shape. Let's continue. Ice cream can be served even tastier with some delicious toppings. Let's draw lots of tiny circles on ice cream scoops number one and three. You can add as many little circles as you would like. Now, on ice cream scoop number two, draw some teeny tiny rectangles. You can spread them out. Do you notice now that we can see the shape of ice cream scoop number three better? Hmm, this drawing is making my tummy growl. Let's make our cone stand out a little. You can draw stripes all over the rectangle part of your cone. Let's draw parallel lines just like that, from left to right. A really good job! The lines do not need to be close to each other. Then, we can draw similar parallel lines on the other side of the rectangle, from right to left. You will notice that the second set of lines crosses with the first set of lines. Hmm, our cone looks mouth-watering, doesn't it? Now that you have drawn your ice cream, let's make it shine with a palette of beautiful colors. When it comes to coloring, there is no right or wrong color. You can use any color you like. You can also use any coloring tool you prefer, whether it is a pencil, paint, crayon, or marker. 
If you want to follow our suggestions, for this drawing, we'll be using dark brown, brown, light brown, dark yellow, yellow, purple, light pink, dark pink, blue, white. Let's start with our brown color palette. First, take your dark yellow and color your entire cone with it. Now, use light brown to shade all the stripes on the cone, including the part that sits between the triangle and the base of the cone. Make this part a little thicker than the triangle's diagonal stripes. Next, use brown and color ice cream scoop number 3 like chocolate ice cream. Now, use dark brown and color all the little sprinkles on ice cream scoop number 2. Hmm, it makes me want to bite right into it. On to our pink palette. Use your light pink crayon and color ice cream scoop number 1 like strawberry ice cream. Go ahead and use that same color to fill in some of the rectangle toppings on ice cream scoop number 2. You can use a white color to color scoop number 3. Or you can leave it white, like the color of our paper, since it's vanilla flavored. Once that's done, use your dark pink crayon to color the sprinkles on ice cream scoop number one. This drawing is getting yum here by the minute. Time to use purple. Take your purple crayon and color in our beautiful rectangular straw. While you are at it, you can use that same color again and shade a few sprinkles on ice cream scoop number two. And last but not the least, take your yellow and blue crayons and color the rest of the sprinkles. <laughs> wow! Great job! Your ice cream looks fantastic! You did such a great job! What flavors did you choose? How many sprinkles did you draw? We would absolutely love for your parents or guardians to share your artwork with us on social media. You might even get featured on one of our channels. There's nothing we love more than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just remember to tag us. More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels and the full interactive adventure in the Lingo Kids app. That was fun!